Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Michelle. I am a fashion and lifestyle content creator. I would love it if you would consider subscribing. Today's video is such an exciting one. I've been waiting for this for a while, saving up, working hard. I'm excited. I'm gonna stay excited a lot in this video. So I thought I would go ahead and just go straight into the unboxing and then afterwards I would tell you guys what package I got, how much it cost, and the features on the camera and why I picked it. So let's go ahead and just get straight into it. So here is the box. I obviously already opened the top of it just because I wanted to make sure that like pieces were here but this will be like my official unboxing and I'm so excited so obviously by the title of this video you already know that I decided to go with the Canon EOS M50 I'm excited to open this up and then in this package I also got a 12 inch flexible tripod I have a tripod already but it really isn't that great so I'm hoping that this is a like significantly better one also got a 64 gigabyte SD card. Can never have enough SD cards. I lose them all the time. I'm notorious for it. I also got a battery and charger that came with it. And then I really liked this package because it came with a case to kind of hold everything in, which is really nice. In my small apartment, I don't have a lot of storage, so like drawers or anything that I could put my camera in, so it's nice that I can kind of compact everything together and just kind of put it in a corner, uh, this corner, because this is my little uh, vlogging location. Okay, so let's go ahead and like actually unbox the camera, which is like why we're all here. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's so light. I love it. She is so cute. Like, such a compact feel. I really liked this camera for this size. And then in this box also comes another charger and battery. Oh, so this package actually comes with two batteries, which is great because I feel like with filming, you always need a backup charged battery, especially if you're like filming all day. So that's awesome. So I got two batteries in this pack as well as two chargers. I got a camera strap, which is so nice because I actually don't have a strap on my current camera. This is a nice like size, nice and thin. Very, very nice. And it also comes with the lens. So I'm going to open up the tripod, even though I can see a picture of it. I wanna actually see what, obviously what it looks like in person and share that with you guys. So, oh wow, this is a pretty hefty tripod. Oh wow, <gasps> I love. It has a level on the back, which I didn't even realize, which is so nice because with my current camera, it does have the grid lines, but I'm always like, is this actually leveled? And then sometimes I will post a video and I can see like my wall going downwards, even though I thought I looked straight, I wasn't. It's very, very like sturdy feeling, which I like. I feel like if I'm holding it, my camera will be safe. Just want to unbox the bag as well. This is so nice. I feel like a traveling bag is really important to like properly travel with your equipment, go on shoots, go on vacation. Just a nice little compact bag so I can just fit everything that I need in there and just take it on the go. There is also like a little pocket right here which is really nice. I have a SD carrier card like compact so I can leave that in here as well. This is really great. I love this. The current camera that I have and that I'm using right now is the Canon EOS T3i. I've had this camera for about eight years. It's served me well, but some of the features that I didn't care for about it was first off the weight. It's a relatively heavy camera, especially for someone who's a little bit like weaker in the arms like me. It's hard to hold up. Secondly is the autofocus. I've just noticed that it's such a hit or miss. One of my most recent videos, my Verge Girl Is It Worth It video, which I'll go ahead and link, is relatively blurry, which was irritating because I did like focus the camera, but once I sat down and started filming, it was blurry. I always look back at the footage on my camera and it looked clear, but once I got onto my computer, that's when I noticed it was blurry. So autofocus is really important to me. So some of the features that I loved about the Canon M50 was first the size. It's small, it's compact, it's so light compared to the camera that I have right now. And I really wanted something that was versatile. So I wanted to be able to really get the quality of my sit down videos, but I also wanted to have the opportunity to vlog, move around, traveling vid 
videos. I really wanted something that gave me both of those options. I also really want to stay in the Canon family. I really enjoy Canon cameras. This particular one, like the one I have now, has a nice grip to it. It's got like that ergonomic hold so it's comfortable. I really liked how simple and all the features were on the camera. What I also liked is that it has a side viewfinder, which my current camera has as well. This isn't for everyone, but I really like this option because it allows me to put a mic on top and I can still see myself on the side. I hate it when the camera flips up at the top and then I've got a mic right there sitting in front or I would have to move the mic over. I think that this is still really great for vlogging. I think it's a comfortable feel. To me, it's not awkward at all that the viewfinder is on the side. I'm looking at the center lens anyways, and I'm really used to this setup, so this wasn't a feature that deterred me from getting it. It might for you if you're used to a flip-up viewfinder. This camera also allows you to have a lot of interchangeable lenses. Now, for this particular one, there are a few that fit directly on the camera, and then if you really want to upgrade, you can get in an adapter and put even more lenses on top of it. I really like that this camera allows me to really expand my options of lenses. So I heard that this camera has really great autofocus, which to me was really important. It has a face recognition, so I can have it recognize my particular face. It'll follow me around and really stick with me and not like pay attention to something that's in the background so that was also another feature that I like was at the top of my list of importance I don't want to worry every time I sit down to film that my footage is blurry now, this camera also has a slow-mo feature now if it's one of the top qualities that you want this really isn't the camera for that it does have that option and I think for what I'm looking to do and film and create the slow-mo that it has on here is like perfect now let's talk about the package that I picked up so I got this package here on Amazon. It's currently $609. When I bought it, it was $615, so it has gone down a little bit. I had been collecting some gift cards, so after my gift cards, the total of the camera was $477, which was great. It was a nice little discount uh, for this particular package. I currently already have a mic, but had I not had a mic, I think that I would have looked for a package where that was included. I do want to upgrade my mic at some point, but this particular package uh, didn't come with it, but it came with a lot of other features that I liked. I like that it came with an SD card because I feel like you can never have enough of these. 64 gigabyte, so I felt like this was a really great add-on. I liked that it came with a nice compact case. It was also a Canon case. Now, a lot of the packages that I saw online looked really, you know, intriguing. Some of them were like $20, $30 and less than the package that I got. Now, I discussed a lot of this with my brother who's really like a tech guy. He loves cameras, into film. He does photography. Uh, I'll leave his photography Instagram here. He was really helping me decide on the best package. Now, something he was like, you need to look for is who's selling it. Make sure that you have someone who's selling you a really great package, they're reliable. Now this particular package was sold by Focus Camera LLC, which I'll go ahead and link down below. They were a reliable source, they were sold directly from Canon. I think they were one of their like Canon's sellers, which I liked and I knew that I was also getting a warranty with my camera. So it was really important that I was buying it from a reliable source. So it was really great to talk to my brother and know that I was getting a quality camera from a quality seller. So there are a lot of cameras that kind of just go in a range of pricing. I felt like for me, this was the best and most affordable camera for what I was looking for. I know the word affordable is different to everyone else. Affordable might be $1,500, affordable might be $200 affordable to me was this price point based on what I was looking for and willing to spend. I didn't want to spend something over a thousand dollars because there are a lot of other items that I would like to buy to kind of build my full package. I kind of want to invest in an iPad. I want to invest in some editing software. There's a lot of things I would like to buy. So overall my budget was maybe, you know, a certain price point and I wanted the camera to fit within that. And so this price for this camera package fit right in there and gives me enough room to invest in the other pieces. Also, I think it's a great starter camera. So I wanted to go something that was kind of like startup camera that I can build with the lenses but in the future if I would like to buy a new camera I can because I don't feel like I spent an arm and a leg to buy the Canon M50. Now I haven't played with all the features on the camera yet because obviously I just opened it up but let's go ahead and put the camera together and I'm gonna go ahead and film like a side by side and maybe we can split the screen kind of see what the two look like comparatively. Now my Canon T3i obviously I know the features a little bit better so it looks a little bit more maybe the coloring that I would like 
like with the Canon N50. I am just on a standard feature. I just turned on the camera, changed the lens. I really didn't like delve into like the different features. So it is really, really clear looking from what I'm seeing. The Canon T3i is a little bit more like glazed over, a little softer. This is really clear so you can see all my wrinkles. I am really excited to play with it and kind of see what I can create. All right, well that was my camera unboxing. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I am so excited to start filming and using my camera, learn a little bit more about it, really know its features, and just start filming and creating. If you guys like the camera that I'm using, or if you guys are interested in the Canon M50 that I just got, or the package that I got, and the things that I use to film my videos, I'll go ahead and link all of that down below for you guys. Again, I would love it if you subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.